Hey, it is me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas. Once again, I have to thank you. I know, I, I know I do this so much. But man, it makes me so happy. It really, really, really does. Uh, and I just want to express that happiness, and uh, I know it's repetitive, and I keep saying it over and over and over and over. But, um, yeah, man, the, the way that this series is going just, just is good. It's just so good. It just makes me happy. So thank you, again. For watching this series i'm so glad y'all are liking it um i'm yeah man that's it all right we can move on from it but thank you we're gonna jump straight into this one folks let's take a look at what we were doing i could make you care by the way if you didn't know a lot of i don't think everyone but a lot of these quests are all named after songs uh in fallout new vegas they named a lot of these after songs which i like and i don't like some of them uh, make sense. Some of them seem a little like, you know, like, oh, we need to make it a song, so let's call it this one. And it doesn't really fit the quest as well. But, uh, yeah, just so you know. So we're doing I Could Make You Care. Look for information about the Pulse Gun at Nellis Air Force Base. Return with Veronica to the Brotherhood Steel Elder with evidence of the Brotherhood's misguided priorities? Oh, okay, yeah. So we're just trying to find some tech to return to the Brotherhood of Steel with Veronica. Hopefully this doesn't coincide in a negative way with, uh... But the other one that we're doing, still in the dark. I don't think it will, but uh, I'm holding my breath. We have some saves that we can make and we can load in order to, you know, make sure everything's all good. Thanks, Bethesda. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's Obsidian GV. I know. I know. Making a joke. Calm down. It'll all be okay. All right, Veronica. No okay, Rex, you know, do your thing. Whatever, it's fine. So this is going to be a big episode. Like I said, I was holding off on doing this uh, because, you know, we're going to... This is a big part of Fallout New Vegas. This uh, Nellis... The, the Nellis hangers up there to the north. Big part of Fallout New Vegas. But, um... 2 XP, wow. But, uh, yeah, uh, because Raul's uh, side quest coincides with this and because Veronica's... Is this the quest... Wait a second, is this the location I'm thinking of? Field Shack. Yeah. Wait a second. Let's talk to let's talk to Rex real quick. Oh, we reloaded the save, so we don't have this. Okay, so we got the wild wasteland thing in the top left, by the way. So this is related to the wild wasteland perk. Huh? Did someone fall into a well? Let's go check out that well, boy. Okay, so... I thought... Ah, yeah, we are here. This is the well. Yes. Oh, my God. Check it out. Okay, so this is Jimmy's well. Did this literally just spawn? Because we have... So yeah, Wild Wasteland literally changes the game in a bunch of ways. And I'm not sure if this well spawned here uh, because we activated that. But you can't get a Wild Wasteland thing... Uh, from uh, Rex there, as we just got. So, first of all, we're going to go into this ammunition box and grab that. Second of all, uh, I guess we'll do this now. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what happens here. Uh, but we're going to go into uh, Jimmy's well. Yeah, I think it... Re so, what happens usually... Oh, my God. Oh! Nice. Didn't even have a chance. Okay. So, yeah, what happens is... um. When you have the Wild Wasteland perk, it, like, it kind of overrides a lot of things. So I think normally this would just be, like, a normal location. But because we have Wild Wasteland, because we have Rex, we have the Abilene Kid LE BB gun. As well as uh, a couple of BB rounds here that weigh nothing. And a Rawhide Cowboy hat, which we'll take. And there's Jimmy, unfortunately. Jimmy fell down the well. If you're not understanding this reference, I think it's it's from Lassie, right? Because Lassie was about a dog. It was a TV show about a dog, and then, like, um... You know, the classic thing everybody always says is, Oh, what happened? Somebody fell down a well? Did Jimmy fall down a well? So that's... Yeah, that's like a really old, outdated reference at this point. But there you go. Now, the LE... Uh, the Abilene Kid BB gun is some reference to that? I guess? But there you go. Bonus critical damage. It's a BB gun, so it sucks. I think. I mean, I'm sure this is the type of thing where I say it sucks. And then everyone in the comments is like, Actually, GB, that's one of the best weapons in the entire game. And I that could definitely be what, what's happening there. I don't know. Uh, either way, that's related to the Wild Wasteland perk. So there you go. Uh, we get That thing is unique, by the way. So we get a unique BB gun out of that. Which is like getting a unique glove that does nothing. Uh, okay, so we have also this place here. Uh, it's just a shack. I don't think there's really anything in here. Although I could be wrong. Lots of ammunition, though, which is fine with me. Lots of flamer fuel, which we're not going to be using. Nothing in dem lockers. By the way, these lockers are all kind of like one object. So you can just kind of... 
hover over them like this, and you'll look at the entire locker. Was there anything else with Field Shack? I don't remember, but it looks like no. So we're going to be on our way. So yeah, uh, interesting. Cool. It's cool that we had Rex with us for that. Okay, now, this is the Nellis Air Force section of the game, which is probably my favorite or one of my favorites, and I'm sure one of yours or yours as well. It's just so cool, and you'll see why. Uh, we need to make a save because shit's about to hit the fan, uh, <laughs> uh, and you'll see why. So we're not going to do everything here, but we are going to at least do Veronica's and uh, Raul's quests. Or get Raul's quest, but yeah. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. You can tell me, or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you. I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Thanks for the warning. What's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living on? Patrick Star's rock. They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you, for a little wager. Wager? Let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Damn, man. I don't think barter's worth it, but we are getting a lot of checks for it. But yeah, I don't think it's worth it in the end. But uh, anyways... Pay 300 caps. You got yourself a bet. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Okay, so we got note added, Nellis artillery timing details. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, we also have the comm station password. This is Veronica's password to a comm station she used to communicate with Father Elijah, former elder of the Brotherhood of Steel. Check on Ranger Station. Charlie Ranger Andy is hoping to, hoping to learn more about why he's lost radio contact with the NCR garrison at Ranger Station Charlie. And here we go. The key to avoiding the artillery is to move from building to building up the northwest side of the town, of town toward the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings, then make a beeline for the gate. The boomers won't shoot at their own people, so stick to the fence until you make it to the gate. Also, I know there's an old train tunnel that enters the area from the south, but no one has ever come back out of there to say it is safe. So, if you can guess, would this make a... Yeah, we might get a better one once we get to the... But just for the sake of... Yeah, we gotta get them where we can get them with these old games. We'll grab this real quick. Should I turn on the Pip-Boy light? Yeah, that looks nice. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little tricky to balance the white uh, when I make that thumbnail, but anyways. Uh, all right, so this, uh, yeah, here's, I'll, I'll show you my strat, what I do. Uh, we're definitely gonna save here, by the way. Anybody that doesn't save here, let's get a, a, a rip in piece for them. All right, so as you can probably imagine based on what that note said, we're gonna be fired upon. And you can see it coming, I think. Um, yeah, all right, so, it's all about RNG for this, you want to basically just run through the houses pretty much, oh god, that was a dead end, whoops, that was a dead end and we paid for it with uh, all of our health, all right, almost there, are we going to make it, that is going to be a no, we are not going to make that one, okay, I kind of messed up, because you got to keep moving, um, I don't think you actually need to follow the note. I rarely do, but you, you'll probably go through unscathed if you do. I just don't know what he's actually saying, and I'm terrible at directions in the first place. So, let's try that again. Uh, so, yeah, we're getting fired upon with artillery. Um, usually what I do is just stick to the houses, and you're normally fine, as you saw there for the most part. I don't think you ever want to stop moving. Got hit there. That car's on fire, which means it's gonna explode. I think we might get hit here. Yep. 
So see what happens as soon as you leave the cover of the houses, you get hit. Literally as soon as you're like not under a house, uh, it hits you. I don't know how the game's actually programmed, but um, yeah, generally sticking to the houses makes sense. You could also, you know, use a bunch of stim packs. I'm trying to do this without doing that. Th okay, let's read this in closer detail. The key to avoiding the artillery is to move from building to building up the northwest side of the town towards the front gate. Now, what's the northwest side? Over here. So building to building, like sticking to the this outcropping of rocks, it looks like. Uh, stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings. What two? There's like a hundred buildings, dude. Then make a beeline for the gate. The boomers won't shoot at their own people, so stick to the fence until you make it to the gate. And yeah, there's another option, like the train tunnel. I never explored that, I don't think. I would give it a shot here, but I just know I've done it this way so many times. Alright, so northwest, which is where we're at now. What if we stick to this little wall? working. Okay, we're out of the wall. Got hit there. Oh my! Ha! Well, that's a way to do it! Wow, I have never, ever seen that happen. <laughs> there you go, folks. That's how you do it, right there. Yeah, I have no idea what that note means. I've never followed the note. I've just basically done what you just saw. That's pretty much it. Okay, so now we're hobbling over. We got literally like a tiny little speck of HP. But we made it. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Oh, that's probably what I always make a mistake with. Yeah, the timing. So I guess you just gotta... Oh, it, this makes so much sense in retrospect. I've just done this so many times that I guess I never even thought about it. So you just you just time it. You just go in between uh, launches, which makes so much more sense. So yeah, there you go. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> simple enough. <coughs> run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Uh, Sonic Move is. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Relax, dude. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. Fair enough. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, master at arms for the Nellis homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. I just love it how whenever you do the smallest thing, everybody's like, our leader needs to speak with you now. Who is uh, Mother Pearl? As I said, she is our eldest. Mother Pearl has lived at Nellis from the start and has the wisdom of her age. She said that this day would come, and that any savage to reach our gate should be brought to her. <laughs> savage? I ain't the one firing artil artillery at anybody that takes a, takes a wrong step. Alright, lead the way. Follow close, and mind your behavior. You mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. You didn't exactly roll out a red carpet. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. How might I be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav... Uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. How can we trust each other if you're gonna be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, Patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Thanks, and that's a very good, uh, yeah, that's a very good mindset to have. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs.
news. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Very cool character because, yeah, she doesn't have the typical thing where, like, you know, they don't trust anybody and they're closed-minded and it just gets, you know, it's so cliche. It's like, open your mind, man. Also, can I sleep in your bed? Ugh. Okay, uh, we're kind of on our last legs, literally. So let's use a doctor's bag. Boop. Oh, boy, we are, like, out. We are, like, out of, uh... Healing things. That's not good. That's no good. Um... Crap. What are we gonna do? Uh, okay, you know what? We're gonna do one thing right off the bat, and that is, um, let's take a look at the quest here. So we've got Volair. Help the boomers around Nellis, and one of them should be right in here, right? I, I thought, but it's not pointing us in here. Hi. Oh my god, that's a lot of kids. No thanks. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, so it is another one of these. What's this one? Medical station. That's Doc Argyle. Where is the one I'm looking for? Um, it should be one of these houses around here. I think it's one of these back here. So yeah, these are the boomers. Remember how I said a lot of factions are always being introduced? Well, these are the boomers, a brand new faction. And uh, they are quite interesting. Oh man, I didn't even think about all the potential for boomer jokes now that I'm recording this in 2019. Huh, probably not gonna make them. I'm really not up to date on memes for the most part. So I don't even really know how to it's just like boomers are outdated. That's basically the meme, right? All right, Snow Globe, Nellis, AFB. Boom. Uh, there's like 20 of those, I think. I don't remember how many there are, but there's a lot of them. Uh, so we need to listen to the boomer story. For all y'all that like your lore, and of course, I'm the lore guy, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't even think. Of course, we need to get a thumbnail for this. Uh, which one would make the best one? I guess right there, huh? Yeah, who needs some random danger sign when we've got an actual mural, which is super duper rare, but which, which is cooler? I like that bombing one. Yeah, let's go for, eh, we'll get like more of it like that, I think. Uh, let's turn off the Pip-Boy light so we have a couple of options. Okay, gotta get that as a thumbnail. Alright, so yeah, for any of y'all that like your lore, well, you're about to get the deep dive on the boomers. Hello, kid. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Oh, so, uh, so eager, yeah. Who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well, whiskey and landmines don't go together. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Oh, I sure do. I'd like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, I can spare the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> okay. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. 
Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Okay, we get some Hi. boomers fame for that. Hey. Uh, that's their story. Pretty interesting mural there. So yeah, basically they came from a vault. Uh, vault 84, I guess? 34? I guess 34. Uh, they fought the raiders. Oh, I guess this is the vault. Yeah, it's hard keeping track of all these vaults when you've played as many hours of Fallout as I have. And you know me, I'm not super duper into lore, so... Um, yeah, I think this was the one that had, like, incredible ordnance. That's probably what he said, anyways. Uh, yeah, and so, like, uh, they, they basically fought all the raiders. They made their way to Nellis. Uh, they, uh, they used these pods, which were in Fallout 3. And if we redo Fallout 3 and do 100%, which, uh, we probably will, uh, they learned about, um, yeah, they learned about the bombers and, I guess, air combat. And so that's what they want to do. They want to restore a bomber and then kill people. Uh, it's like an entire group of people based around murder and ordinance. So isn't that Are you okay? so fun? Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Okay, I'm going to go through these, but I'm going to uh, go through them quickly just because we're running out of time in this episode. And this is going to be a deep dive on lore, which we already pretty much just got. I have some questions about your people's history. Why'd your ancestors leave the safety of a vault? So you know about... In our vault, everyone had guns, but the over- I guess all the little pops and Okay, so yeah, there was a lot of explosives in the vaults and, and you know, they didn't- uh, I don't know. I, uh, they, they used guns. It was a gun vault. It was a, it was a violence vault. Your people were willing to risk it all for freedom. And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any time- anything- Um, surprise Nellis was empty when your people found it? Several automatic warheads- the savages of... Okay, so they said that, uh, yeah, nukes went off here, making it super radiated. Whereas your people had brought Geiger, 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 Geiger counters with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? Okay, how do you survive totally cut off from the world? Nellis is completely self-sufficient. Yeah, so we have, like, little uh, cues for each one of these. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of them. So he said everything was self-sustainable uh, because they get water from the lake, and I'm sure they grow crops. The ingenuity of your people is remarkable. Thank you. And uh, what are howitzers doing at an Air Force base? Right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found... It took many weeks to drag the gun... So they dragged howitzers from, like, another place. That howitzer battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people. Man, we're just really, uh... Buttering this kid up, huh? Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. This is an easy way Anything to get fame, that's know? for sure. Uh, how has Nels taught your people to fly? Once we restore power, we believe they were used to train combat power. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's... Yeah, so they used the uh, simulators to, like, do flight sims, basically, so they figured out all about flying. Oh, to slip the surly bonds of Earth and dance amid the soaring bird. What are we talking about? That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Yeah. Anything else you want to know? Uh, how did you learn where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere. It seems that a bomber, apparently the... Tw the photograph shows that it was... Okay, so they found it in a picture. You could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles, or learn how to throw my voice. Could you tell me the story of the wall mural again? You want to hear it again? No, 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 not, not like, oh, jeez. Uh, what if we wait an hour? Okay, good. <laughs> how can I help you, outsider? Alrighty, uh, I'm looking to make myself useful. Who needs help, who needs help around here? Gosh, there's a lot of, over at the... Yeah, so we already have those, obviously. Okay, so we get a ton of stuff from talking to that little kid. Uh, I know people are going to be upset that I didn't run through all of it, but, you know, I'm sorry. It's just too much in one episode. It's just too much. So anyways, that is that. Now, let's go ahead and do uh, the main quest here. Look for information about the Pulse Gun at Nellis Air Force Base. Return with Veronica to blah, 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 blah. Okay, we really need to find a bed. I'm trying not to use my stim packs. In fact, wait a second. If we wait three hours, are we healing? I'm not sure if we're healing, because I'm not sure if that, um, that vault canteen activates while you wait. That's what I was trying to see there. But anyways, uh, we'll use the next bed that we can find. Here's Pearl's Barracks. And I guess we're looking for something beyond this, uh, 
What exactly? Oh, the files, right. Well, I suppose we could sneak and do it, can't we? So we're hidden. Colonel, call it Colonel Blackwell's key, inventory transfer order. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna take both of those. We're gonna lose a little bit of karma, but that's okay. We're also gonna search the desk where there's nothing. All right, recover the pulse gun from Vault 34 if it still exists. Wow. Wait, this is actually going to take us to a... Okay, due to current events, Staff Sergeant Daniels is hereby authorized to transport item number blah blah blah, codenamed Circuit Breaker, to the installation known as Vault 34 to be sealed in its armory for safekeeping until the manufacturer can retrieve the prototype for production. Signed, Colonel Roy Blackwell USAF. And where is that taking us? Um, Man, what is this? So where is this? There's Vault 34. I knew, yeah, there was a vault near Cannibal Johnson's cave. That of which I knew. Um, I think this is the one like I never do. And it wasn't the Boomer one, was it? Where they came out? I guess it was. I mean, that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, because they were the uh, weapons, the ordnance vault. Uh, we're going to head inside Cannibal's cave real quick. Say hi to him real quick. No, but uh, to try and use a bed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't be owned, don't be owned. Yes! What? Enemies are near. What? That tower on the strip. Oh, come on, man. Don't do this to me. Are you serious? Right Alright, let's make a new save here. Okay, we got some enemies on the outside that are... How? Where even are they? Okay, now it lets me wait. Makes no sense. Go back in here. And it's still telling me there are enemies. What are you talking about? What the hell is that? It's a random kite. Oh, I didn't know the cave goes back there was that way. Some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. Oh my god, are you serious, went. man? This is annoying as hell. All right. How many coyotes are here? All right, we'll just kill all of them, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't mind. All right, that should be that, because this is over with. There's some stuff through there, but I don't care. All right, that was weird. Why are you living? Why are you living in a cave with rabid coyotes, bud? Not good for your health. Okay, for the love of God, let me sleep. There we go, free healing. When I get that feeling, I want free healing. Isn't that a funny joke, you guys? Okay, um, so yeah, Vault 34, or whatever it is, is right over here. Now, I, hey, everybody, if you're doing the GV uh, drinking game, time to drink up, because I don't remember anything about this vault. Uh, yeah, is it only tied to Veronica's quest? Because if so, that would make a lot of sense why I don't remember anything about it. Because I don't think I ever did Veronica's quest completely. Okay, you guys got it. In fact, I'm going to tell Rex to go home. This is too easy. Some of the stuff is too hard, like uh, Black Mountain, but yeah, this is way too easy now. So, uh, we're going to tell Rex to go home. So, if you guys like the pooch, I'm sorry. He's a good pooch, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's time for us to part ways. I know, I know. Like, do you go back to the lucky 38 for now? All right, see you later, bud. Okay, let's not go near the radiation. We're like on the cusp of getting irradiated. Um, so here it is, and we've got more enemies, and that's a level up, maybe? Uh, I'm sorry, you have no HP. Okay, cool. So here we go. Um, we're gonna get some radiation here. Uh, if we can just get in, if we can just get in. Hopefully the entire thing is not irradiated. We're in danger, but it's that gecko that was running with his tail between his legs, literally. All right, now I hope there's nothing else we wanna do here before we do this quest. Or I hope there's nothing that's gonna mess things up, as usual. Uh, why am I sneaking? It's just a force yeah, of habit. It. Okay. Ah! Veronica is too strong. She punches like a tank. Good job. All right. Um, I don't remember what happens with that pulse rifle. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't. I genuinely don't think I've done this quest. At least this way. I may have come here myself. But yeah, I don't think I've done this quest. So I generally. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. If obviously Avery is super duper interested. If there's a way we can do this without giving the Brotherhood that pulse rifle. Uh, if we can keep it, that would be awesome. But I don't know if that's a possibility. Level up. Okay, so we're doing, uh, what were we doing? Repair? I guess so. Um, although I kind of want barter. Uh, I'm going to put repair up to 50. And I'm going to max out barter now. 
Uh, just because I feel like it's what Avery would have, being such a smooth talker. And having that old cowboy charm. But we got some 10mm rounds, a 10mm pistol, and the other rounds fell through the floor. Isn't that awesome? And they're back, I guess? Okay, uh, anyways, let's try to make it to the front of the vault before we end this episode here. I could really do with some right away, and I don't think we have any, do we? Nope, none. Nope, we have one. Sweet, alright. The only negative from that, by the way, was just negative one endurance, which honestly is not that bad. Uh, we're getting some radiation here. We could, of course... Over here. Oh, boy. Man, I really want a melee. Oh, my God. Ugh. That is cut. That's super duper mixed, messed up, Veronica. I don't like the way that you kill people. I mean, no, I, I I like it, but like Jesus Christ, that is like some overkill to the max. Okay, folks. Well, here is a new vault for us to take on. Oh my God! Look how many enemies are in there. Still looking. Wait, is there? Oh, that's you. Okay, we're gonna end this uh, episode here, folks. Obviously, we're right in front of a new uh, vault, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do some research on this vault. Make sure we don't want to be here right now. Make sure we do want to be here right now, and uh, we will attempt to go in here. Um, we're getting radiation, too, so we have to keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. As always, thanks so much for supporting the series. Huge thanks to the patrons, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.